I've been on YouTube for a good bit. Not as a channel, but just browsing. And ever since the so-called street harassment fiasco with black women, I've been trying to find input. It really is not even with just street harassment, but with the police brutalities, the killings, um, black women getting knocked over the head, getting guns drawn at them for no reason, not the police. And I'm just wondering, where is Bell Hooks? You know, um, I'll give Melissa Paris, uh, Perry Harris, um, her credit, but that's only because she's a corporal uh, feminist, and so she has to do stuff on, you know, on um, on her little channel. Um, what is it? MSNBC. And you know, I saw her little um, her her um, the montage she made with um, all the black men who were killed. And I understand how she feels, you know, I'll give her credit, you know, I respect her because she has, I believe she has, um, I don't know, one or two black sons. And so she knows that being a feminist and co-signing a lot of white fuckery isn't going to save her, save them or her. So she's waking up, she, she, you know, you know, I'm kind of waiting for the moment to where she says, fuck it, I'm not a feminist anymore, I'm a... <laughs> You know, it'd be fun if she was like, I'm a Pan-African or I'm, um, you know, or some kind of new group or, you know, get on some kind of, like, conscious stuff. It may happen one day. Because even with black feminists, even though they... I seen. I read a couple articles. They they do um, support Mike Brown. They are giving him shots and kudos. My thing. I'm worried about where are the the bigger feminists? These ones that do the lectures. You know. You know where where it, where is Bell Hooks? <laughs> and you know I I'm calling her out because. She talks a good mess, talks a good game, but where are you at? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like T.I. a little bit because I'm wondering where where is she at? <laughs> you know, you keep talking this white patriarchy, um, white supremacy talk. And, you know, black women are so um, pressed down against by the patriarchal bullshit. And I'm like, this is where black feminists should shine. This is where they are, like, on point. Like, where are they at? You know, I, I, you know... Of course, there are some, but it's like the lesser-known black feminists who are usually bloggers or, or um, you know, they just write um, magazines, articles, and stuff like that. But I'm really just worried about, like, I'm really just talking about the lecturers, the you know, bell hooks. I can't remember the other f big feminists, but, you know, I'm wondering, like, where is she at? And I'd be I'd always be typing up stuff, and it's like you know this is the prime moment of your so-called white patriarchy, and yet I'm seeing her and she's quiet as a mouse. I don't see no uploads. I ain't seeing nothing popping up that's really new. And you know these black feminists these. The ones that like they do all the talking, you know, they just full of it. Because when they on this, when black women as a whole are put on the spot by these white racist cops, all that white patriarchy is, you know, out the door. They, ain't, you know, they don't want to talk. They, but when it's a regular old day, nothing really is popping. Then they'll talk about the white patriarchy until it actually happens. I wouldn't be surprised if she's out talking about Ray Rice 
Yeah, put put all the blame on the black guy. But <laughs> but you know, I just I'm just trying to figure out where is Bell Hooks. You know, Bell Hooks. These these women need you. They're they're losing their sons. These women are mothers, and they're losing their sons to these cops. And you know, where are you at with your um? Black women unity crap. Where are you at? And you know, a lot of these black feminists are really just jokes. Especially the bloggers. But I'm just angry at these lecturers. These big known. Because this should have been like a prime moment. I'm from, from the summer to now. This should have been like a prime moment of... You know, I be sh- I should be seeing like thirty lecture videos of Bell Hooks talking about like like you know she can probably bring up like the rehab for um like she can talk about how black mothers should deal with losing their child to racism or when they you know when they're not even when like losing but when their child is sub subjected to it you know. I should be seeing those kind of lectures. I should be seeing her <coughs> rallying up, um, you know, doing stuff for women who, you know, who were falsely arrested. You know, funny thing is that I know, I know, like a lot of black feminists hate Ray Rice, but it's funny how Ray Rice actually. Um, Helped this black woman in New Jersey, and you know what happened was that she told she was tr- she was uh she's not from New Jersey, I believe she's from Texas, and she uh, she got a gun in her car. It was for protection, but uh, New Jersey has a kind of a have a stricter gun control. Um, law and somehow she got arrested because she she told the officer she had a gun and when she got pulled over I believe for a measly traffic ticket and basically it was an article there was an article about her saying that she got arrested for telling the truth but um it, it was funny but the thing is though is that Ray Rice helped her out um I'm you know, and I'm like, where was Bell Hooks? You know, black woman wrongfully arrested for wanting to protect herself after she's been mo- uh, robbed multiple times. Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm waiting for the moment black feminism dies. I'm like, that's what needs to happen. I mean, I'm talking about like the group. <laughs> Where this group needs to be like, fuck it. We can't, we can't, because black women are just on their own. And this is why, and they, they just need to realize that, just cut the feminist bullshit and just be like, this is a sister unity, but most importantly, this is a black unity. And you know, to be honest with you, if you're a black feminist now, you're practically dumb as shit. <laughs> Living under that genjutsu that all these women of, of all these races, especially white women, have your back. Remember, these women marry these patriarchal bastards. <laughs> they marry them. The thing is with white feminism is that they just don't want the blunt beating on them. They don't mind seeing it on you, your kids, your family, whatnot. They don't mind you getting the, the beat down. They just don't want them to have the beat down too. So, you know, black women, black feminists need to realize that and just drop the feminist bull crap. You know, if you want to help women as a whole, uh, you know, like neighborhood wise that's okay but trying to do it on a national level to 
co-sign fuckery is not gonna get anywhere. Black women really need to drop that feminist bullcrap. I'm like, I'm kind of disappointed, but yet I'm kind of happy because black black feminism is a joke any damn way. It's been debunked plenty of times. They have no real power. They don't even really talk about nothing. I should, I should even make a video about these uh, black feminist bloggers who just talk shit about, and, you know, this shit they talk about like irrelevant to where like, you know, just silliness, you know. But um, that's my this is this is just my video, you know, bell hooks. Where you at? <laughs> Cause you know. You, Kinda, you sounding dead now, man. You, you sounding. This is your prime moment to shine, and I'm calling you out. So, I, I'll be kind of lucky and grateful if I can get a response, or you know, a response video or something saying, "Hey, um, I've been doing this, this, and the third. I don't need a." Do this and then to prove a point to you, but, but hey, just just say something, Bill Hooks. I, I, I just want to know where are you and your uh, friends at? Because you talk this good mess, but then again, when the mess actually happens, you're nowhere in sight.